And now to Washington, where the Senate is set to begin debate on an extension of the debt ceiling this afternoon. The Treasury Department says Congress has to raise the debt ceiling in the next two weeks or the U.S. will default on its loans for the first time in U.S. history. Natalie Brandt has more from Capitol Hill. President Biden says Congress needs to act now to raise the debt ceiling before the October 18th deadline when the country will run out of money to pay its bills. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he wants a bill on the president's desk by the end of the week. Republicans say they will not vote for it as long as Democrats are pushing for passage of a proposed $3.5 trillion spending bill. If this stuff passes, this massive spending and tax bill, that inflation is going to get much worse. The Democratic social spending bill, as well as the $1.2 trillion bipartisan physical infrastructure bill, have put progressive Democrats and moderates at odds. Democratic leaders are pushing back their own deadline to pass both bills until the end of the month as they try to win over moderates Kirsten Cinema of Arizona and West Virginia's Joe Manchin. Both say the spending bill costs too much money. Manchin has said he will not go over $1.5 trillion. That's too small to get our priorities in, so it's going to be somewhere you know, between 1.5 and 3.5. New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says they may be able to find ways to scale back. Fully fund uh, what we can fully fund, but maybe instead of doing it for 10 years, you fully fund it for five years. Build back better! Meanwhile, activists are aggressively protesting Senators Manchin and Cinema. We need a Build Back Better plan right now. Even following the Arizona Democrat into a restroom over the weekend. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Capitol Hill.